hello beautiful people <laughs> this is dr doris here and um i have been getting some requests to make some specific videos and i've decided today to make those videos at least to talk to you guys um about my journey so far but that's not the main reason i came online what i came here to today to talk about is um how to start studying the handbook okay so if this looks like a video you're interested in come on in and let's talk about it <laughs> hello guys um dr doris here again <laughs> i saw the post um on one of my um videos it was kind of a comment and um he was asking me to talk about how to start studying amc handbook <laughs> i smiled at first when i saw that um that comment but yeah I know that some people when they want to start to study they are very confused they don't even know where to start from and that is why i am making this video today to explain to you how to start studying amc handbook okay these are a few practical steps that i have taken and i i have found that it worked out and i feel that if you are starting to study for your amc and um you want to start you're starting with the handbook it would also work for you so what i have found to work is going through the handbook topic by topic so like is what i said um do the first reading of your handbook just open the handbook that's how to start to study it. open it do the first reading just read it like a novel you know like a storybook finish it from beginning to end that is your first reading don't memorize anything don't overthink it just read it so that you can understand how the questions are the structure of the questions then after you read that first reading then you start your second reading so now in your second reading what i'm aiming that you are gonna try to do would be being very specific then in your reading okay because after the first reading which you have gone through like a novel the second reading should be very specific so what do i mean by being specific is you remember i have said before that when i prepared for my australian medical council exam i started my reading with psych care there was a reason i started with psych care i was doing like a data collection i was trying to see what other people had done that had worked for them I found out that a lot of people actually tend to talk more about psychia. So I decided to start my reading with psychiatry. So, like I always said, after I read the handbook first, like a novel, I started with psychiatry. I did Kaplan Psychiatry, finished it off. I think I finished it within four days, three days or four days. I finished it because I was reading it the whole time. Um, when I finished it... I then did you what psychiatry the question bank and i did amida psychiatry when i finished it i went to ops and gain and gain did kaplan ops and gain finished it off did the question in um handbook and then also did it in amidex amidex is very related to australian medical council guideline so I use that Mides for most of my studies and um, handbook and also the um, RACGP guideline. So now, after I finished um, Ops and Gaini, I did pediatrics, then um, public health, 100 cases by Conrad Fisher. Um, and um, after I finished that, I also went ahead and did... Um, uh what do you call this one the the, um, the public health the emergency medicine there's actually no question that is emergency medicine in amc okay but you would know that these are emergency cases okay amides have emergency medicine but it's just that they brought out lots of questions that are emergency cases and grouped them as emergency medicine 
and um surgery and medicine are closely together so i just did my kaplan surgery and kaplan um medicine but when i started medicine was the last like i always said medicine should be the last thing you do because it's engulfing like if you start medicine if you start your study with medicine internal medicine you're gonna feel that you've been reading a lot but trust me you haven't done nada you haven't done anything you've just started the like you've just started from the the most um the, the biggest one so i think because the exam still covers other topics like ops and gynae pediatric psychiatry medicine you should go through every part of the exam every part before you go to medicine that's my suggestion anyways um do medicine last so that by the time you're going to medicine you have done every other thing people that i have said this to they have tried it and they have found out that it works because if you start medicine first trust me you're not gonna in fact if you pass the exam then it's by the grace of god seriously or maybe you have a very high element of luck um by your side but i mean it is it, it is very very important and very very better that you do other aspects so like answering your question rcgp guideline there's no book called rcgp guideline rcgp guideline is online so how to use it is let's say you want to study prostate cancer now you just go to um go to google and type prostate cancer treatment rcgp guideline or prostate um cancer treatment according to glycine score rcgp guideline so okay if you want to study pulmonary embolism pulmonary embolism rcgp guideline that's how you do it and it brings out a lot of the guidelines but you will choose the one that has most of the topics and if you go to images even in google you'll be able to see lots of the images that are displayed to you telling you the guideline what to do if this is this and if that is that so um that is how to use the rcgp guideline also um in terms of going through amc handbook i hope i've answered your question like do it first like a novel do it second time very specific go topic by topic finish up other courses other subjects do medicine last then in medicine too because remember medicine have um every aspect like neurology nephrology um endocrinology all those ones are under medicine so when you finish every other part then you do those parts of medicine last you get so that you'll be able to finish all the topics under medicine at least if you do medicine once i think you should be fine you know but i mean basically handbook is two to three times i did it twice if you know that you some people i have had some of my friends that did handbook five times it depends on your strength and the time that you set out to read i studied for my exam seriously studying for my exam in two months i was done with everything but i started studying about six months ago and i was reading little by little but when i became really serious when it was close to my exam that two months i was studying every day 18 hours i didn't i didn't have kids then so um it was quite easier to do that you know as a single person i think you have um a lot of time you know close to you you have a, a lot of time with you to do anything that you want to do so yeah so i hope this video has been helpful please do give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye